So we're here, we're going to replace the grout in this tile uh, that's missing. And there's three different tools that you can use to remove the, the remaining grout. We always want to get it as cleared out as we can so the new grout has something to hold on to. You can use what's called an angle grinder. I only recommend using an angle grinder uh, if you're highly skilled at it and are in a hurry. Um, so really, I don't recommend using these at all, to tell you the truth. You can use an oscillating tool, which is what I'm pretty partial to. It just vibrates back and forth real quick. It's got a diamond bit on it, so it cuts right through the grout. Uh, it'll actually cut through the tile if you want it to. Uh, this is what I use, but I have a vacuum with me all the time, so I can suck everything up. Or if you're not skilled at any of these, you can go to a just a manual tool, which will go right through the grout. It'll just take a lot longer. Um, I'm pretty partial to these too. It all depends on uh, how you are with power tools and things like that. I am going to use the oscillating tool. I'm going to get rid of the rest of the grout here uh, because it just doesn't look real sturdy. And uh, then we're going to replace it. It's going to be as easy as that. We tested the tiles and we don't hear anything loose in any of these tiles. No loose spots. So we don't have to reset these tiles. We're not going to glue these tiles down. We're just going to replace the grout. We th I think the floor is bouncing just a little bit um, and over 15 years. It's not too bad. One spot of grout is missing, so we're going to take it from here. So let's remove some grout. Okay, so there we remove the grout. This grout was really soft for some reason. The other parts are hard. When I hit it, it just stopped. But for some reason, this was real soft. So whoever might have replaced this at one time um, just mixed it too wet, probably, the grout. And uh, it just softened up on them. So we're going to fix it, and we're going to do it the right way. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay. So we're back. I mixed up the grout according to the uh, directions on the package. I only mixed up a little bit. And you kind of want the consistency. I've heard some people say it's like peanut butter. And uh, that's kind of where we're at. It is like to the peanut butter stage. You don't want it too watery to where it's running all over. You don't want it too dry to where you can't move it. It's going to flake out if you do that. When I come down and I'm repairing grout, I just push it in with my fingers. You can get a float if you want, however you want to do it. I just like to push it in with my fingers. I can feel what's going on. Uh, I leave it on the top a little bit, I let it dry for a few minutes, I wipe it off, and we're good to go. So let's get at it. You just kind of want to go and push it in, kind of across the grout lines seems to be the best leaving it a little high and then when we wipe it down we're going to wipe it down and we're going to leave that little channel in there that that is needed but we want to overfill right now these homeowners happen to have the same exact colored grout that was used when they built this house so we got lucky with that one a lot of people when they do these repairs, they repair it to the dirty grout. That's how they replace it. Uh, they get the color chart and they match it up to the dirty grout. And I never suggest that. Clean your grout first. Know where you're at. Know what color it is. And then that's what you match your grout to. You can also go into a closet. You can go uh, into the pantry. Anything like that. And find out where it's at least a little cleaner. So, we're up just a little higher than it needs to be. We're going to let it dry for a few minutes and then we're going to wipe it right off. We'll be right back. 
Okay, we're back. It's been a few minutes. We're going to wipe it down. Then we're going to let it dry up a little bit, haze over, and then we'll wipe it down one more time. But we want to get the bulk of this off so it comes off nice and easy. I always smooth out the grout lines and make them nice and low where they're even with the others with my finger. Sometimes you take out too much and you got to redo it. Really not a big deal. You just don't want to go over it too much because you can just keep going and keep going and it'll never be uh, spot on for you. So just get it about like that. We're going to let it dry up even more and then we'll be back and wipe it down one more time. You'll see a haze on this when we come back. Okay, we're back. It's been about a uh, half hour. We put a fan on it. We dried it. Uh, it's not completely cured, but uh, it's got the haze on there, and we want to get that off. If you let it sit too long, you've got to take your grouties, which is an acid cleaner, and it will take that haze off of there. If somebody has left the haze on your tile at any given time, uh, acid will eat that off, and grouties is an acid-based cleaner. Uh, it's a safe acid base. It's biodegradable. It's made from salt. Um, but it's still acid based, so it will eat all of that off of there, loosen it so you can wash it away. We're not going to let that sit long enough. We're just going to wipe this down, and then we're going to let it cure, and then we're going to seal it. Simple as that. Let's go back over it with a dry towel. And let's say you have if some of the grout is just a little high or you don't like the way it looks. You can take that wet towel and just kind of smooth it out because it hasn't cured yet. You can smooth out these areas and make them look fine. You can even take a dry towel if you want to and make them look right. As simple as that. Repair that, no time at all. Uh, took about. Uh, Five, ten minutes of total work and about a uh, half hour of dry time. Good to go. Thanks.